So on target number one, shooting on the left side is Eric Esposito from Italy. Now Italy was represented in the gold medal match for Team Junior Men. So one of these archers could actually have shot this course before um, and have a slight advantage here heading into the first target. You'll see target number two is archer from Italy, David. So we'll see these two head over to the stake. Okay. And Eric will be on the left target and David on the right. Notice, I believe it's David shooting on the right. His, his coach has actually been out there coaching previously, so we'll see if he's able to give him a little pointers. And Eric draws back first. a low two and a low four so they're both low but good left and right on this cross hill now these early targets can give you quite a nice cushion going into the last fourth target so being consistent shooting strong shots is important here Let's see if he adjusts this one and looks like maybe a three yep i think he adjusted a little too much he's now high yeah, it is challenging to now, see these arrow quick shot, but Oh, that's a wow, six. a six. Oh, five star by our spotters. But from here, it looked like a six to me. We'll see what the judges call that. Oh. Yeah, that can be a challenging thing with these targets. Sometimes the shadow will make an arrow appear in or out, depending on how the shadow's played with. Getting into their last shot here. You see that front arm shaking a little, and it looks like a three. And Man, another wow, five six line. Six. Oh, but it was it's a great target for David Bianchi of Italy. Fifteen points. That is the highest we have seen shot on this target yet. That gives him a tentative seven point lead, but if he gets that second arrow upgraded, it would be an eight point lead after one target. And it looked like it was fairly close to that line, so that could well happen. See Dean Alberga there, everyone's favorite world archery photographer. Provides some beautiful photos for those of us at home. Let's wait and see what the judges call that arrow. Still waiting on that arrow call. Taking their time to make sure they get it right. Yeah, that is one thing that has been very and constant. And it gets upgraded, so eight point. We ha he shot a 16 on that target, first target. Definitely the highest we've seen yet. Mm -hmm. Great shooting by David Bianchi. So can Eric close the gap on this next target? And this is something you'll consistently see. You know, these archers stepping up, getting their footing making sure that they are ready for this next target. <laughs> so Eric draws back first. Ooh, Just starts off at the four. <laughs> Just a little left. David's first shot, a little bit fast. Very quick, but that's a three. It looks like looks like it caught the line. Now, when you do go into a target like this with a, a point lead, what are, what are your thoughts? Really, the key is just not to do anything stupid. <laughs> I like to tell the <laughs> people I'm coaching, just get up there and shoot your shot and be smart and don't overthink. So mm -hmm. that was a five. So looks like opportunity for Eric to definitely pick up some points on this target so far. And as we saw with the last match, there's no need to be stressed until that last target. You know, we saw a lead change right there of four points. 
So three point lead on this target for Eric, but still down in the match. See if he puts another one in the yellow here. It looks like he does. Oh, maybe, maybe a four. Maybe it didn't quite get that yellow. A little bit fast again, but scored a little bit better with the four. Solid four. So we see that lead. Get cut, yeah, yep. get cut down to five. So three point advantage on that target for Eric. Here. Has David. they progressed to the next target? David's lead is now five halfway through this match and heading into the final two targets. Now you see these coaches carrying spare bows for their archers. Why is that? So in a finals venue, unlike in the uh, qualification rounds, there are no equipment breakdown periods. You can't um, have time to fix anything that goes wrong. So you have the two minutes to shoot your three arrows. So if something happens, you need another bow to pick up and just keep shooting. Otherwise, you're going to lose those arrows values. All right, getting comfortable as they approach the stake here. And you'll see the coaches have to stay back behind the stakes. They're not allowed to come up with the archers. Are they allowed to communicate with the archers while they're shooting? Yes. Archers can talk, coaches can talk to their archers, give advice, call arrows, um, count down the time. They just can't do anything that would interfere with the other team's archer negatively. Again. Eric's the first to draw back, and he shoots a solid 4-5 four, four, liner. Five one, yeah. Still a little bit fast. Looks that looks like it, it's a 4. Looks like a 4 also, so to the second arrow, all even. See how they adjust on their next. They both were low. Ooh, that looks like it might have caught the 6. Oh, yeah, 5 star there. Wait for official ruling on that. Looks like a three. Maybe so seeing the nerves come in here as his timing sped up a little bit. What you notice here is the is Eric on the left is shooting the middle, then he shot the bottom, and now he'll go to the top target. Whereas David started in the middle and went to the top target, and then will finish on the bottom. So again, every archer can choose the order they shoot these, whatever they're most comfortable with. So here a two is required to maintain a tie above that two. I believe looks it looks like, like he shot a five. five. So head in with a, a three point advantage potentially. Could be as little as two points. Yeah, so that again, five star could be a six. Huge, uh, that little bit of margin isn't much heading into that, that tough final target. No, I'm sure David wishes right now he still had that eight point lead. <laughs> I believe the high score we might have seen today was eight points in that last match. The judge taking a look carefully at that second arrow of Eric's. Now the judges you see out there are representatives of all different countries. We don't have judges just from Italy, even though we're here in Italy. The judges come from all over and they are not allowed to judge a match in which an archer from their country is shooting. So, Yeah, and, and it's, it's amazing to see that um, the lengths that World Archery goes to just to ensure a very level, fair playing field. All right, they're stepping up, heading, and we looks like he kept the three-point lead, so he did not get an upgrade on that arrow. It stayed a five. So again, we'll see. Are they able to put that first arrow on the board and score? Yes. That's a very and solid four. starting score. So low four to a two on the left side. So again, we've seen a lot of bare bow archers on this target shooting left. Mm -hmm. And this is this is definitely a target where um, I, I, you can kind of tell that some of the archers have some strategy going in um, and they're kind of adjusting on the fly. So Eric has cut the deficit. It's now one point. 
with two arrows left. David actually shoots first. Shoots a one. Oh, and that and is going to... looks like Eric missed the target. And you see him look back at his coach. I think he was a little confused by that. It was not expecting. Mm -hmm. So that brings the lead back to two for David with one arrow left of this match. And this is where you just got to gotta go for it. Um, there's no time to second guess or, or hesitate. It looks like Eric's going to shoot first here. See his hat fall off his head. He's leaning back so far. And David actually got it off first. He misses. Oh, and Eric and shoots a two. We're tied, folks. Shoot oh, off. and here we go on to the next <laughs> 60 centimeter. It's going to be a, a little bit steeper uphill at 45 meters at the red stake. And I believe 35 for the blue stake. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know what the, what the measurements are. Yeah, this target has not been shot a lot. So we'll look at the ground stakes as they head their way over. Very exciting. Now a shoot off. Each archer gets one arrow closest to the center will win this match. Now how might the actual hill itself contribute to this shot? So again, it's a little steeper, but it's the same hill that they just shot. And we see 40 meters. They're going to step up to that blue stake. So the bow archers will be shooting this at 40 meters, but it's further up the hill, meaning it is a steeper angle. Now again, with bow, that could mean they need to add yardage, but it could mean they need to cut yardage. It depends on the archer and their arrow flight, and they need to know that, how their bow reacts. And again, there's no room for adjusting after the first arrow. It's one arrow wins this match. Yeah, this is time for some bold strategy. Pretty exciting. Two Italian teammates here shooting off for the Junior Barebow World Title. This has a, a really been a, just a great show of marksmanship on behalf of both of these archers. It's, it's definitely the fans getting their money today. And we saw Eric shot better on this last target, which again is very similar to this target. He had the highest scoring arrow and the highest score for the three arrows. So we'll see if he has that advantage coming into this. As we pan to a shot of the crown. As we start and this next target. ready to go. We see the handshake. All right, let's see how this works out for him. And you notice the crowd got dead silent as they stepped up to the stake. <laughs> and you <laughs> feel those nerves. Oh. This is for it. Junior World Title. Huge bragging rights on the line right here. One thing to note is they haven't got pre-set pre positions. They both kind of have to set their footing here on the fly. Now, what's the actual time limit for a shot like this? So Ooh, four yeah. shots. So oh, solid four line. off to the left. So he needs a five to win. Oh. And it's a three left. So Eric is your champion. Great shooting by both of these guys. But I mean, this is this is probably one of the few examples where you can't really be disappointed with how you shot. You know, sometimes the other archer just shoots better. Oh, so Eric Esposito of Italy is your junior barebow men's world champion. Congrats to him, great shooting, and congrats to his teammate on a hard-fought silver medal. I know how those silver silver medals at a world championship feels. You want to be happy.